the specifics of how we do this is essentially at the end of the cytoreductive surgery, we put tubing into the abdomen. We then temporarily close the abdomen and we also put temperature probes that allows us to monitor the temperature of the tissue inside the abdomen. After the closure of the abdomen, these tubings are then hooked up to a heating perfusion pump that can circulate uh, the fluid as well as uh, heat uh, the fluid to a certain temperature. We typically heat the fluid to somewhere between 41 to 42 degrees Celsius, which translates to roughly about 107 degrees Fahrenheit, which is you know, roughly the, the, the temperature of a, uh, uh, of a warm bat, uh, uh, bath water, essentially. And, uh, and the pump will uh, circulate the fluid and at the same time heat the fluid. We add the chemotherapy directly into that uh, fluid and uh, that then allows the uh, treatment. The treatment itself is typically 90 minutes and at the end of the treatment we flush the chemotherapy fluid out of the belly and then we wash it again with a second wash to remove any residual chemotherapy. The abdomen is then reopened, we remove all the residual tubings and then finish up the operation. So that typically describes what we need to do for our patients in terms of you know, dealing with patients that have disease uh, within uh, the abdomen.